scaling with the Blazing Duet as well as probably the most terrifying teamfight lineup that has ever graced the Land of Dawn. Will the Champion Slayers be able to live up to their potential moniker here in our first game of Week 2, Day 3? So it's going to be a question of can Team Ha control the early stages of the game or will RSG MY able to scale up and just win in the river fights right now. Looking at Hawk, Hawk is already there disturbing Gary. But look at Min, He's, he just dealt half damage to Kuza, but he should be fine right now. Same thing should be said for Hawk. Indeed, neither of these roamers are going to really be able to zone out the enemy at this point in time. I was actually hoping that Min would be able to do a little bit more damage considering how weak Julian is at level 1. So that is actually a small win for Kuza there. Oh. So Min still gonna continue on his efforts here, but he oh, is oh, oh. the tree. Yeah, he has to be careful. He's been pulled in by Izanami. But again, this is a Hilda. No point in really dishing out the damage unless your intent is to kill. She can heal pretty fast. That's quite a lot. I I, I kind of don't like that. <laughs> that is kind of ridiculous. Every time you see it, you think, oh, Hilda doesn't heal that much in the bush. And then you realize, oh, yes, she does. And that means that Kuza is going to be slowed down pretty heavily here on his purple buff. This could actually create enough time for Gary to come in and go for the steal, especially with Min going in yet again. Yeah, I mean, Hand Sword deals a lot of damage, and finally the first blood is going over to Izanami. I kind of wish Man was there to really back him up, because I feel like as strong as Hilda is, it would be even scarier if Min was there to help out. Gary is level 4, however, he has to run away, not enough backup for him to actually go for any kind of team fight, but HYHY, it's -Y, not going to punch him out. Indeed, and HY, I think that's the proper choice there for HYHY. -Y. Both him and Lola are nearing that level 4, and we know how much Phobius counters Fakito once he has access to Demonic Force, so he simply does not want to take that risk, especially when the turtle is coming up in the top side. He needs to maintain lane control to make sure that RZ can take it. Min, just continuing with his harassment here. Yeah, I want to look at the first two turtle phases. Panda managing to get a kill onto Lolios, and right now, Min might be the next target. Man is here dishing out a damage. Kuza, as well as his Nami, has to be careful. Hawk, he does not have a level 4, but that does not matter. Man still tries to get some kills onto Hawk. Right now, he is level 4, so he has a little bit more magic resist, able to run away. That was actually a good juke from Min there. He actually walked back into the bush to avoid the enhanced chain. Otherwise, he would have died earlier. Just unlucky that Hawk was able to pick up the kill there. But overall, Team Hawk do still have the slight gold lead. And that's partly because of Panda already taking the entire gold shield down here in the bottom turret, nearly taking out the structure on his own. But I kind of still don't like it. I want to see a little bit more. I want to see more aggression from the side of Team Hawk just because they should really have a very good advantage here. Kuza Ooh. almost taken down, but the Cult Alter makes it so that he can still run away. A very, cl a very clutch Cult Alter by Izanami. That was either a little bit of a panic from Izanami or he perfectly calculated that the ultimate from the hill that wouldn't actually be enough to kill Kuza because otherwise <laughs> that Cult Alter would have actually come out too late. But because they were able to chase him back, Gary, he should be able to take this. Yes, he does steal the purple buff from Kuza. Yeah, and the reason why I want to see a little bit more from the side of Team Ha is because they should be getting turtles uh, left and right. But right now, Panda is going to be focused on, and Panda is going to go down. Izanami secures the kill for himself. A little bit too late coming in from Mun. This is where RSG MY's team composition starts to become quite scary. Once they hit that level 4, they have a lot of really powerful ultimates that they can play around. And that allows them to roam around the map very effectively. Gary, using the information that 4 members of RSG are in the bottom lane, should be able to take this turtle with Lola zoning out HYHY. So Team Ha still maintain the gold lead, but not by much. Yeah, we got to look at the proactiveness coming in for the side of RSG. They're moving around the map quite a lot despite Kuza actually getting harassed in the jungle quite a bit. Because again, look at this. Min is harassing Kuza, but he has a score of 0-0-3. And looking at the level difference, sure, Gary has a level advantage of, of 1, but I don't think it's enough. I think RSG and MY, with the composition that they have, they're okay with losing, like, what, 100, 200 gold difference? Like, in, in a way, RSG and MY is still winning. 
RSG and Y have such a strong playmaking composition that even if they are a little bit behind towards the late game, one big cult altar fatal links combination is enough to bring them back from the brink here. We can see that Gary is consistently stealing away the jungle and will use the Tempest of Blades avoid HYHY as well. So they are still successfully stealing farm from the Julian though. Yeah, but Again, the focus, I think, should be on to Lolios, because right now Lolios, in, in a sense, yes, he did die once uh, against Panda, but look at his Min is, again, focusing on Takuza, having to back off, but is it enough? I kind of feel like Min and Man should move together, because this does not, in a way, I want them to win the mid because they're feeling a little bit slowly however right now looks like Izanami forces the cool alter just because team hot they're staying there for a little bit too long and Lola gets punished all things considered though, considering how long Team Hawk stayed in that dive, only losing Lola is not too bad for them. It is a good catch for RSG MY, so I feel like the reason they're not really... Oh, hold on. Tempest of Blades onto HYHY. This is gonna be a kill, and that means that the top tier one should fall to Team Hawk. Oh, oh, the Fatal oh. Link comes out on top of Panda. He's gonna get taken out 1v3. RSG want to trade the bottom tier one, and they will do so. Yeah, right now, RSG MY, it's clear that they have the advantage because they have five kills over to two and looking at how they're standing in the in the land of dawn they have clear map advantage and right now they're in their element whenever the fights are starting to focus around the riverside the range of the the, the fatal links as well as the co altar is perfect for riverside fights so right now with the turtle being up soon it's going to be the, the the lord phase and rgmy they're just keep scaling and scaling and scaling i kind of feel like team hot they should find ways to deal with Lolios early on, because if not, it's going to be very, very tough to go up against him. But right now, looking at the items, Min, he has not completed one defensive item yet, not even a Dominance Ice. I kind of feel like he should try to stop die and try to get more assists onto himself, just so he can get a little bit more gold, a little bit more EXP, so that he can tank a little bit more. Oh man, gonna be forced to use the black shoes. Hawk comes in, but a really good split up by Team Hawk to ensure that they're not caught in a big fate the links, avoiding what could have been a pretty big disaster for them. Right now, we could see that the way RSGMY is playing, they're actually ignoring a lot of these big objectives to try and push out the side lanes because they are aware of the fact that they're not too reliant on farm. This is a team composition that will be able to win fights in the late game, even if they are behind. So they're allowing Team Hawk to split up and look for farm across the map, allowing them to get easier pickups. Yeah, right now it looks like Team Hot, they're just focusing on the man. But right now, Hog did not catch anyone. Lolly else goes in, focusing on the man. But man with the black shoes able to run away from that situation. Team Hot still wants this mid lane turret, but no minions are there. So, so far, no real action is going on here. That's actually amazing for Team Hack as well. That was the two big teamfight ultimates used by RSG, and they didn't lose anyone. It's why it's why jumping in. Double knockout strike will pick up Panda as Hawk gets the stun onto Man and Lola in the back line, but he's got no backup. He's gonna fall while Gary is buying a lot of time under the tier one mid. And that means that they trade one for two. Yeah, despite the situation, both gold laners were able to be taken off the map. And this kind of shows Team Hawk, even though, like, we, we, we talked about this during, during the drop. Ooh. What they have to do is they have to bait out these big spells, these big skills. And Gary, he has to be careful because traditionally, the Paquito is a counter for... Okay, hold on, Gary manages to, 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 to survive. It's a counter for Ling right now. He's why is there any way where you can go and Flicker has been used? I think that's pretty worth forcing HYHY to use his flicker there is going to make sure that he doesn't have access to that in the next fight and with the Lord coming up in a few seconds that could be quite valuable for them but right now we have reached a stage in the game where it's very dangerous for Team Hack to go for any of these big objectives because if they group up too much a single combo from RSGMY will dismantle their entire lineup. Yeah right now Gary is looking for you know as, as, you, as you pointed out during the draft he's looking for these side pushes I'm not so sure whether he is trying to make sure that RSGMY, they don't stick together. They have to focus on clearing those, those side minions or he's just really trying to get as much farm as, as he can. It's probably a, a, a mixture of the two. Right now, the Lord has spawned and for the side of RSGMY, they have to ma make sure that they actually catch people with the Fatal Links because Hawk, so far, he has missed like what? Two crucial Fatal Links? 
Right now, what would be ideal for RZMY is if they're able to pick off a single member of Team Hawk. I don't think it really matters who they catch, with maybe the exception of Min. Other than that, anyone they catch out here would guarantee that they can secure the Lord for themselves. But Gary, he's 1v2 right now. He's actually... Wow, he's just flexing on them there. Going to be able to distract both HYHY and Kuza. That was very risky because we have to remember that Ling has been nerfed recently in terms of HP, so you can't tank that much. But so far, it's looking very good. And Hawk probably tries to find absolutely anyone, but Man is probably not a good target just because he still has his black shoes. One advantage that Team Hawk does have is that they're very aware of how an Atlas is going to play simply because of how much Min likes oh, playing yeah. the hero. So they know exactly how far they need to position to avoid being caught out by the perfect match. And they know like the habits of a player that's looking for that big fatal link. So as long as they don't drop their guard and keep perfect vigil over their positioning, it's actually going to be quite difficult for Hawk to catch them out. Yeah, Gary and Panda on top of the gold ranking, so this is good. Team Hot has a lot of gold, but it's going to the right people. Min right now, he's actually in a situation where he's pretty tanky. Oh, Hawk is going in. Will he be able to catch anyone? And no, he's taking free damage. Kuza is going to get focused in behind. The altar has been used. Lola still going forward. Gary manages to secure the Lord for himself and his team. And right now, Team Hot with a 3,000 gold advantage, pushing out RGMY from their own jungle. That was textbook perfect by Team Hawk, using Lola to distract the backline alongside Min and then allowing Panda and Gary to focus on the Lord itself. They don't want to take fights at all. Min gonna get caught out by the Fatal Links here into the full team of Team Hawk. He's not gonna survive that, but I don't think they mind too much. Yeah, and uh, looking at the items, Min actually only has the Athena shield, so it's kind of <laughs> <laughs> Min is the one that dealt the most damage wow. throughout this game. It's not, it's not man, it's not Gary, uh, it's not even Panda. You know what, Min, it's, it's kind of showing off. He's kind of flexing right now. I want to see how much of that is on Kuza specifically. <laughs> but the Lord now going to be pushing up the top tier two, already taken down. We can see Gary split pushing the bottom side as well. Man pushing RSG back to try and take this tower as Lalil defends mid. Quite effectively, they won't be able to take any inhibitors there. So a good defense from RSG, but that gold lead is definitely slipping into dangerous territory. Lolias goes in with a blazing away, focusing on Gary. Gary HP is so low, he has to run away. He manages to actually get away from that situation. And even though quite a lot of damage that was being brought up by Lolias, I do want to question just because looking at the items just now, Min only had a Athena shield. He does he doesn't complete any other items uh, yet. Probably is going for a dominance ice after this. But even with just one. Magic resist item completed, he was able to actually sustain quite long going up against uh, the, the entire force of RGMY. So I'm just worried that RG, in terms of damage, maybe not there yet. Like, do, do they need one more item before they can really commit to a full blown team fight right now? Min slightly caught out, but as I said, this Hilda is looking super tanky. I do agree with you there. RGMY, unfortunately, because of their devotion into this big team fight combination, the heroes will do a little bit less consistent DPS compared to Team Hack until Lolios is actually able to complete his build. And because of that, Team Hack needs to make use of this window right now because if they allow the claw to scale up, it becomes a lot more difficult for them. We can see from the Lord push advantage, 20,000 tower damage with the first Lord of the game is not bad at all. But I think they were hoping to be able to get a little more. Yeah, and I feel like this game, if Team, if team Hot wins, is just because they're, they're clear understanding of the draft for both teams for their own draft as well as RSG's draft because we saw how Hawk is actually having quite a difficult time to really impact the game in terms of catching people out with his Fatal Links. Looking at the itemization right now, Min already completed his Blade Armor, so he can sustain quite, quite enough damage going up against Lolios. And looking at the Julian, focusing full, full, um, what you call it? full magic uh, damage build, but having that Feather of Heaven is more of a sustained kind of build. And I'm not oh, sure whether that's oh, enough, because look at Gary. Oh. Gary can 1v2. What is going on? Gary, you just got nerfed, but a double kill secured by Gary. Now I know for sure RG does not have enough damage. That is the ultimate flex by that's Gary That's a play right of there. the day. We have been seeing some insane mechanics from this guy on the link, but that is just the cherry on top. This is a hero that needs to be received. This is basically a Gary signature now. When you have a Ling, Solo 1v2, a Paquito, and a Julian, two no. heroes that should be able to easily 1v1 him, that is not a good luck for RGMY. 
Well, ladies and gentlemen, looks like the nerve onto Julian kind of hurts a bit because the damage was not enough. But to be fair, you you actually have to hit the skills because right now we're going to look into a, in, an instant replay and look at how much damage was actually being given on to Gary. Gary actually dodges a lot of it. And look at the crowd. The crowd is loving it. That was a beautiful double kill. That is a true 1v2. No cap. Just give them all to me. I can secure those kills. That was impressive. That belongs in a TikTok compilation right there. Oh, trust That's me. It big, probably will. It that, probably will. Absolutely. That is a part of what you want to show people when you're saying, uh, I'd like to join your team. This is what I could do. <laughs> but now the Luminous Lord pushing up top lane. Top inhibitor going to fall instantly. Mid inhibitor taking a lot of damage from Gary as well. RG still have the combo, but they can't find an opening to engage on. Even though Team Hawk are all together, they know that they are 10,000 gold behind Team Hawk, and this is just looking to be a death sentence for RSG. 10,000 gold lead. This is one of those games where I kind of want to pause just because I want to point out the position, but look at Panda. Panda has been caught out, and they're focusing it all. Lola is in the middle of the team. Killing Spree is on to Izanami. Mine, he goes back in, focusing on trying to get any kind of kill, any kind of assist, and Lola, he's just jumping here and there, here and there. He's sustaining for quite a long time, but for the side of RSGMY, they're able to kite it out, and HYHY manages to get Mine sleeping, and now he's focusing on the Lola. It's is this going to be a comeback victory for RGM? Why? Right now, they managed to get the kills. Right now, they're managing to actually control the map again. That was a mistake from Team Hawk. I think there was a little bit of miscommunication there. You could tell from their positioning, Man wanted to bait the Fatal Links. He wanted to force Hawk to use it on him because he has the black shoes, but ha Panda was too close. And now Gary is forced to use the Tempest of Blades as five members of RSG are pushing down mid lane Fatal Links onto one member. That's gonna be Min pulled in as the Demonic Force is actually doing a lot of damage. All of Ooh. RSG grouped up, forcing out the Cult Altar. Gary's still waiting for his opportunity. He has no purple buff, the Cult Altar Going to expire. Oh, no. looking real low. They find HYHY first. Izanami gonna follow. Lolil's, he doesn't have Battle Mirror Image. He's out of position. Hawk needs to defend him, but they get the double kill. Immobilized from the chain. Kuza now returning. Will pick up the shutdown onto Gary as Min is picked off by the Crystal as well. But Lola Panda still alive. Man coming in from the back to support Kuza. Taking a lot of damage from Panda. Hawk coming in. Not Focus gonna be able to on the turret. Out. Fatal links only on Man. Cult Altar available again. Black Black shoes out from the Lilia. Izanami still going in. He finds Panda, but Lola finds Hawk in the back line. This is a 2v2. Izanami taking a lot of damage, but Team Hawk can't continue. Yo, take a breath, Stafa. That was a very long play by play. That was very impressive. But yeah, from the side of Team Hawk and RGM, it was a 10,000 gold lead. Now it's cut in half. Only 5,000 gold lead for Team Hawk. But again, we saw how much the, 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 the fight really turned once Gary arrived. It, it, it was almost a victory for Team Hawk. However, in this game, I gotta say, Panda is, is suffering a little bit because he's not able to do much. Gary is here. The Lord has only one more left. Kusa secures the Lord for himself. Lola wants a little bit more going up against HYHY. Man is there. Min is there. The kill altar has been used. Will they continue? Yes, they will. They want HYHY. Lola is in the back line trying to dish out the most amount of damage onto Min. Min is going to go down. The Fatal Link is used onto him. Gary has no more energy and Panda is too far away to continue this fight for Team Hawk. Team Hawk getting a little bit sloppy here in their desperation, their 10k net worth lead reduced Whoa. instantly to 3,000. And the Luminous Lord is actually pushing out for RSG now. This is their worst nightmare. We already mentioned this late, late game. RSG has the advantage because of how strong their team fight is. They wanted to pick off even a single member of RSG, but they invested too far. And now they have to defend against this Lord without oh, ho, ho. But They have enough damage. Gary, this is risky here. He should be able to escape. This 1v2 will not look the same, Gary. And looks like RGMOI did answer a question we were asking. What are they waiting for? Are they waiting for items? Apparently, yes. Once they have enough, they will go in for the fight. And right now, RGMOI, even though Team Hot still has the gold advantage, I would say they got a momentum boost. They got a confidence boost. Lolios is looking super strong. Kuza is making less and less mistakes. Hawk, all he needs to do is to manage to catch one crucial target. But the question is, who is the target that he's really waiting for? HYHY 1v1 against Gary. Who will win this time? Ooh. And again, it's Gary.
Gary winning these solo duels here, and HYHY finally gonna get taken out. Team Hawk, they were so desperate to catch him out in that previous engagement, and Gary just makes it look easy. RC definitely know that this Ling is going to be their primary concern. Ideally, they want to be able to prevent him from taking the purple buff if they were in better control of the situation, but when they have no towers left on the map, that's not really a possible goal to accomplish. The key to victory is actually holding on to your lead. Team Hot, they're trying to hold on, but it's very difficult. Looking at the damage here, finally, Min has gone down. Gary has shot way up in terms of the damage. 71,000 damage and Lola, 59,000 damage. But again, I attribute that just because of how tanky he is. And he just keeps slamming his, I don't know, what, what, what you call it? Like a, like a spiked hammer thing? I, I don't know. But the sustain from this phobia is, is absolutely insane. Looking at the Looking at the items over here, standard itemization for the Phobias. As long as he has the Ice Queen wand, he's going to make it so that RZMY can't really go for the back lines. I believe the word you were looking for was a flail. But that is the weapon I believe Phobias is using here. But we can see that the purple buff going to be targeted. Oh, oh, this could be bad. Kusa's out of position here. Immortality popped down. Min coming in from back line. Cult Altar will save him. Fatal Lynx catches no one. And Kusa will go down. Right now, Hawk out of position. But he is an Atlas. He will be able to get away. They have caught out the most important member of RSG because guess what? The Luminous Lord is back and Team Hawk will claim it. I don't know whether that is a mistake from the side of RSG or just an outplay from the side of Team Ha because it has been quite consistent where they are able to actually bait out this Fatal Links and making sure that they take advantage of that Team Ha right now with a 4,000 gold lead. The Lord has been called out and it is going to be an evolved Lord. This is going to be difficult for the side of RSG to really uh, defend. They really have to make sure that Izanami and Lolia stay alive long enough for them to dish out the damage. And as I said that, Lolia's finishes his has claw so he has quite the sustain he has quite the lifesteal coming into this perhaps final team fight uh, the Luminous Lord coming in flame shot on three people forcing out the cult altar Lola gonna actually pop his immortality in his base itself fatal links only on top of min but the crystal is the main target team Hawk they're not gonna fight your crystal is wide open and they're going to take the first victory of the day team Hawk won and it was amazing to watch. And I definitely have to say, the highlight of this game is definitely Gary. You're like, he brought in this jungle link. He looks like an EXP leader. He he wants those fights. It's not like, oh, you know, you're here, I might as well. It's like, nah, nah, I want it. I'm not running away from this. We've been seeing some pretty impressive link plays from Gary 